so I wanted to take this time to say some things that are important that I realized after talking to an acquaintance of mine about my whole stance on art and being an artist. This type of stuff I, uh, I assumed that everyone else already knew about, but then as time went on I realized that while maybe something many people are aware of, there may not be many people discussing it to both new and longtime artists such as myself. I've been an artist for over a decade, and with every passing moment there are still things I'm realizing that I never either considered about art, or didn't realize, or just didn't even know. Even now, or years down the line, there will be stuff that I just don't know or to take into account with art. But regardless, I'll just get into what I want to talk about with art. First things first, before I get into specifics about what I want to talk about, I want to make this clear. I don't think that the world of art is one that's fully intended to abide by every rule of the book and intended to be something that gatekeeps or puts down others who aren't good enough. I think this is a horrible thing to do and a flawed way of thinking. The, the world of art, the world of art has rules, but I consider it to be more suggestions than actual rules that can't be broken. You'll most likely hear people who are more proficient in their craft say otherwise, but still, I firmly believe that when it comes to creating, freedom and knowledge are two major factors here that are the most important aspects when it comes to creating art. And if you think otherwise or disagree completely, you're more than welcome to think that. This video isn't created to tell you what's right and what's wrong, this is simply to inform others on what I think and maybe even open others to thinking a little differently about what they already know. So first, I want to talk about using and or tracing references and bases in your artwork. I've gotten back and forth on this whole matter for over a year now, honestly, and after getting other people's input on it, I more or less have come to my own conclusion on it. I have talked to people that have criticized my work to pretty harsh degrees in regards of me using references, sort of putting my work down because I traced many references and bases for my working characters. My thoughts on this now is that I think this is perfectly fine to do. If you're an artist and you're at home and feel comfortable with tracing bases and references for your art, I say go for it. Don't misunderstand, that doesn't mean to plagiarize others' hard work and profit off of it. But when it comes to art, if you're someone who has trouble in certain aspects, even after a long time of doing it, and you still need help on it by using a base or a reference to trace, I think that's fine. I do this all the time with my work, and even with my more recent pieces. And I've gotten criticized for this. And while I understand those people had their best intentions in mind by criticizing my work as such, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to do this. As long as you're capable of leaving your own mark and impression with the piece as a whole, adding in details that are distinctively your work, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Now, there will be people who say you should know how to draw freely, which I, I am in agreement with this, as drawing freely lets you move away from what you're tracing and whatnot to make it feel like it's your own work. But just because I agree with it doesn't mean that I think you need to know how to do this. If you're someone who has tried doing this and just cannot for the life of them draw freely, don't feel ashamed about using references and bases to trace. I've heard this comment even found myself saying it when I was younger that I wish I could create something as beautiful or as cool as this, essentially thinking that these artists had nothing to work with and made something impressive out of nowhere. 
One thing I've learned since picking up art is creating something out of nothing is damn near impossible, honestly, especially for new artists. To create, at some point, there's got to be something or someone being used to aid and guide you along the way as opposed to the path of doing it alone. So yeah, if you're a longtime artist that still traces or even someone wanting to start, don't feel free to accept help, whether it's other people or references or bases. But if you are someone that actively does want to move away from tracing references and bases, my advice is to ease into it. Keep tracing if you need to, but draw in a way that feels right for you. I've tried tracing poses before and whatnot for characters I draw, and sometimes I get that feeling where I want the pose to be arranged in a different way. Next, there's also the matter of how you draw that I want to bring my thoughts on. I'll just cut to the chase. Draw how you want to draw. Create how you want to create. If your work or characters don't look like what other people have done with their work and characters, that's fine. And at the end of the day, it's your art. If you found a particular way of drawing characters, backgrounds, or even using color, go for it. Now, this doesn't mean that you should neglect everything told to you by everyone. If you're taking a class and learning how to draw, you should listen to what you're being taught. And if what you're being taught is how you want to create art, then go for it. But if you're like me and you want to create art in your own ways, I think the info you learn is important to a degree, but not something to fall to the letter. Helpful, but not a complete necessity. If you are someone who's found or finding their own style and their own identity with their art, really experiment with what you got. Look around, try out a lot of different things until you find something that works for you. Remember, art isn't some form of authoritarian competitive sport. Art is, well, honestly, I think it's like life and even death. There's more than one meaning you can take from it, more than one way to take it, and more than one way to see it. To me, art is a lot of things, but a means to put down others for creating how they want is not one of them. Next, there's also something that... Well, this is more directed towards some people in my life since they don't exactly share my mentality towards it. <laughs> sort of, though. Here and there. The idea that every piece of art you create has to have some form of meaning. Every piece of art has to have a point, which... I'm not too keen on thinking that this is completely right. I think art is beautiful, as I believe it has a way of addressing something by what you see far better than words ever could. But if you want to create art, but don't really have any big meaning or point to it, I think that's more than fine. If it's something you want to do, if it makes you happy, if it has meaning to you specifically or just something you enjoy and that's it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now keep in mind. I don't condone you using art as an excuse to actively attack and threaten someone in your life, or a group of people, and take that as a form of enjoyment. Maybe to some other people, they think that's fine and they'll probably use this as an opportunity to try and debate me by throwing my own words back at me and, and look, my stance on art in this matter, I want to make perfectly clear. If your art isn't actively putting down people with the intent to harm or threaten them, as long as it's something that you are enjoying making, then whatever you make with that in mind, I think is fine. Basically, just don't be a cunt. Finally, I want to talk about something that I've actually never had anyone tell me before, but I came across on my own and wanted to say this to whoever hears it. The idea that another artist creates work that blows yours out the water if someone else if someone else's work looks better than your own, you need to improve to be on that level or greater. I want to say this right here and now, and I urge you all to spread the message. Your art is beautiful 
in its own rights. So what if you don't make art that's on the same quality as a big named artist with beautiful art? You are not them, and you shouldn't strive to be them. Strive to be you. Maybe your art looks a bit rough or could use some more work and improvements. Honestly, I think that's perfectly fine. Your art is your own. There's always going to be another art program out there for you to use if you don't like your current one. There's always going to be another tool to use for your art if you don't like your current one. There's not going to be another you to replace the current you. Your work may not be the work of the gods or whatever, but who gives a fuck? Your art is yours, and you never know, your work, someone else may actually see it to be incredible and beautiful. It took me years to realize that, I, I never had anyone to tell me this right out. I was inspired by many different things, but in terms of becoming an artist, one artist that led me to this point was Yume Art. Her work always astonished me by how beautiful I saw it, and I thought that I wanted to make art on that level of beauty. It took me years to realize that I'm nothing like her. My art isn't anything like hers. My work is my own. I am my own artist. And you know, honestly, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my art. And I'm happy with who I am. And if you're an artist, I hope you're happy with your work in some way, and I hope you're happy with who you are as well. If not, well, all I can say is I hope you can find it in you somewhere. Even if it isn't tomorrow or even in the next couple of years, I hope you find that happiness. Thank you for listening to what I had to say. What are your thoughts about art? If you're an artist, what are some things you want other artists to know that you never got told or taught? If you're up for it, feel free to share your mind about this. And as always, I hope you all take care. Peace.